15 weird laws around the world you didn't know about. Every country is different, and every country's laws are different. Sometimes these laws border on seriously ridiculous, and other times they point to important cultural values that might be different than your own. We've compiled a list of 15 weird laws around the world you may not believe exist, but when you're traveling, you certainly don't want to wind up behind bars. Number 1. It's illegal to chew gum in Singapore. Sometimes we all suffer when fools break the rules. After vandals used chewing gum to mess with the mass rapid transit system and the Housing and Development Board spent $150,000 a year to clean up gum litter, Singapore banned all gum substances in 1992. Anyone importing, selling, or making gum in Singapore can get fined and or jail time with the exception of nicotine and dental gums offering therapeutic value. Don't get caught blowing bubbles in the streets. Number 2. Canadian radio stations must play Canadian artists. The Canadians are a patriotic bunch, so much so that all Canadian radio stations are required by law to play Canadian artists on the airwaves at least 35% of the time, especially during the hours of 6am and 6pm, Monday through Friday. This means that in an hour of radio during the work week, you'll hear more than 20 minutes of artists like Nickelback, Alanis Morissette, Celine Dion, Michael Bublé, and Justin Bieber, all of whom are proud Canucks. Number 3. It's illegal to run out of gas on the German Autobahn. Notorious for having dynamic speed limits that give drivers a chance to travel more than 100 miles per hour, car enthusiasts and speed demons love trips along the German Autobahn. But if you run out of gas, you could face a big fine. And don't even think of walking to a gas station, you'll get another fine for that. Why? Germans believe you have the power to keep your car properly gassed up, so if you run out of gas, it's your own fault. Walking along the highway is unsafe as is having your vehicle stalled on or on the side of the road. Keep your eyes on your gas gauge and fill up when you get low. Number 4. It's illegal to hike naked in Switzerland. A Swiss court has upheld a fine issued to a man for hiking naked past a family picnic in the region of Appenzell, reports the BBC. The man was fined 100 Swiss francs, which is nearly $108, for his naked stroll but appealed the decision since there is no law against public nudity in Switzerland. There is, however, a law against public indecency, and this court decision will set a precedent for the whole country. Naked hiking is illegal. Number 5. It's illegal to feed pigeons in Venice. With thousands of pigeons descending upon St. Mark's Square in Venice, lured by the tourists readily handing out food in exchange for Instagram-worthy photos, Venice lawmakers officially made it illegal to feed the pesky fowl in 2008. It is said that the cleanup from the birds cost each citizen 275 euros per year, so now the tables are turned. If you're caught feeding the pigeons, you could face fines of up to 700 euros. Better to get the picture-perfect shot of Venice's beautiful bridges instead. Number 6. It's illegal to wear high heels to the Acropolis. When packing for a trip to Greece, make sure you have the right shoes. The country banned high heels at the Acropolis in 2009, so no stilettos at the Parthenon. Not sure why anyone would want to make a trek around the ruins and dirt in heels. Surely it's tough to walk and will damage the shoes. But the Greeks put this ban in place to protect its ruins from damage caused by the sharp shoes. The ruins are nearly 2,500 years old, so be respectful and wear some soft-soled shoes when you visit. Number 7. Don't wear your Winnie the Pooh t-shirt in Poland. Some town councillors in Poland don't want beloved storybook character Winnie the Pooh as a playground mascot. The so-called bear of very little brain apparently doesn't have enough clothes. The tubby little cubby, based on an actual bear named after Winnipeg, was suggested at a meeting of the council in Tusen, a small town in central Poland, to be the face of a new public playground, according to media reports in the United Kingdom. That prompted anger for some councillors who called Pooh inappropriate. The problem with that bear is it doesn't have a complete wardrobe, said Count. Research Sichi, it is half naked, which is wholly inappropriate for children. Bones fictional bears dress from head to toe, unlike Pooh, who is only dressed from the waist up. 
Because of this, Poland issued a ban on Winnie the Pooh around playgrounds and schools, finding the AA Milne character a bit too risque for the likes of impressionable children. Best to leave your bear attire at home if visiting the Eastern European country, just to be safe. Number 8. Men must wear speedos on French beaches. Did you think the French just really like their speedos? Actually, it's French law that men do not wear loose-fitting swim trunks on beaches, swimming pools, and other public places where a swimsuit is required attire. The law wasn't for safety, but rather that men wouldn't dare walk around town in a speedo. So if he wears a speedo in the water, it surely would be cleaner than something he may be wearing all day long. This need to avoid clothing that could have been worn throughout the day also extends to t-shirts. You'll need to lose those as fast as your surfer shorts. Number 9. It is illegal to wear a suit of armor in British Parliament. We know, we know, you've been dying to don your suit of armor for a visit to Parliament during your next trip to London. Still, there is this ancient law that prohibits it. The Brits could revoke the law, but as armor really isn't as fashionable as it was in the Middle Ages, why should they bother? MPs are prohibited from wearing armor in Parliament by the Bearing of Armor Act, which dates back to 1313. It was an attempt by Edward II to prevent nobles from threatening the use of force when Parliament was called. Number 10. It is illegal to ride a cow drunk in Scotland. Before you get any crazy ideas and have too much Scottish whiskey, you should know you could get a ticket for drunk cow riding. Technically, the full 1872 law mandates people not to be drunk when in charge of a cow, horse, carriage, or steam engine. In case you are wondering, the same law states you cannot have a loaded firearm on you while drunk as well. Number 11. It's illegal to wear camouflage in much of the Caribbean. Caribbean culture is rich and diverse, but you won't necessarily find it at your hotel, pool, or buffet line. Get out of your perceived comfort zone, go in town, meet some people, have a drink, eat some street food, explore. But leave the camo attire at home when you head to the Caribbean. To wear it is a big no-no in many island nations, including Barbados, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbuda, and Jamaica. Camouflage is only allowed to be worn by the country's military personnel. So unless you want to be fined or drafted, leave those camo shorts home. Plus, why would you want to wear them to the beach anyway? Number 12. No selfies with Buddha in Sri Lanka. When you take a selfie with Buddha, you are turning your back on him. This sign of disrespect is punishable by imprisonment in Sri Lanka. It is also considered disrespectful to point your finger at Buddha, and sometimes there are bans on taking photos with the statues. Although not illegal to have tattoos of Buddha, a British woman was jailed for three days in 2014 for inappropriate tattoos of the man 70% of Sri Lanka feels is a prophet and avatar of the god Vishnu. Be polite and cover tattoos, respect no photograph signs, and don't turn your back on him. Number 13. It's illegal to wear a mask in public in Denmark. Anti-mask or anti-masking laws are legislative or penal initiatives prohibiting the wearing of facial concealment in public places. Mask laws vary based on jurisdictions as well as varying with regard to intent, scope, and penalties from place to place. Not only masks, the Danish government wants to stop anyone from covering their faces in any way in public spaces. This includes masks, helmets, scarves, hats, fake beards, and even burqas. The controversial ban went into effect in August 2018. Officials claim the ban helps to properly identify people during crowded events should anything negative happen and someone need to be identified. Number 14. Registering as married at a hotel makes it so in North Carolina. Let's say a man and a woman walk into a hotel in North Carolina, request to share a room and claim they are married. By common law marriage rules in the state, that man and woman would legally be married. As the couple outwardly present themselves as husband and wife to the public, they are deemed a common law marriage that is honored and valid in North Carolina. Should you find yourself in need of a hotel room for the night, you may want to fess up if you are in a married couple. Number 15. It's illegal to fly a kite in Victoria, Australia. 
In Australia's southeastern tip of Victoria, home to Melbourne, it is illegal to fly a kite in a public space if it bothers another person. In fact, you cannot even play a game in a public place if it annoys someone else. Listed as part of Summary Offenses Act of 1966, the Aussies probably won't mind if you do decide to fly a kite while you visit.